Hello friends, this video on Thermodynamics Part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 16. Now the question is, we now knew how to measure Q, right? The heat supply, we can quantify that. We have learned about change in internal energy, change in enthalpy. How can we measure delta U and delta H? How can we do that? Right? So as I told, delta U is nothing but change in internal energy and constant volume. So to measure this, what we can do is, it's a little uh, uh, big instrument here. So we use something called calorimeter, bomb calorimeter. Why it is bomb? Because this thing is a, a fully insulation, here's a water here. And we maintain constant volume. So we supply oxygen here and then we put some sample and we burn the sample in the oxygen. Whatever heat is generated, since it is constant volume, this is transferred through water and you can see the temperature difference. As I told, delta U is what? Heat supplied at constant volume. That is nothing but Cv delta T. So I know the value of Cv. The only thing I know is, should know is delta T. If I can somehow find the delta T, I can find the change in internal energy. Correct. So if you see, this is linked to a thermometer. In this thermometer, we can see the value of delta T. So this is the bomb calorimeter where we maintain the constant volume here and then we just put the sample and it burns whatever heat it generates the volume is constant so it is a constant volume experiment and then uh, through water the heat is applied we measure the change in temperature we use this formula cv delta t to get q at constant volume and that q at constant volume is nothing but my delta if you want to Measure delta H, things are pretty simple, very easier than delta U, and that's the reason why we have this enthalpy scheme. In any flask, you have just make sure it's, it's, it's a little bit insulated so that heat is not transferred outside. You do a chemical reaction in any test tube or any beaker, any flask, just measure the temperature difference. So, delta H I told was Q at constant pressure, and Q at constant pressure is nothing but. C at constant pressure into delta T. So this thing we know already for a given uh, substance. If we can find delta T using thermometer, that's all we will do. We can just have this experiment in open air. We don't need all this bomb calorimeter. So we can just find delta H very easily if you know delta T by seeing in temperature. If Cp value is something which we will know, or we will know. Scientists have done these experiments and they have given the Cp value for most of the substances we'll be using in the laboratory. So we can get the CP value, and then we can find delta H easily. Let's take one example. One gram of graphite is burned in a bomb calorimeter in the excess of oxygen at one atmospheric pressure. With this equation, we have to, uh, during this reaction, the temperature rose by one Kelvin. Heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter is given. You have to find the energy change for this reaction. So, see, there's a bomb calorimeter, so my volume is constant. So, I'm talking about delta U. That is nothing but Q supplied at constant volume. That is nothing but Cv delta T. But this delta U, which I am going to find, will be for 1 gram of graphite. Please note. So, I'll write delta U for. 1 gram of carbon will be what? Qv that is nothing but Cv delta T right that is nothing but what is the value of Cv? 20.7 kilojoule per Kelvin into delta T is 1 Kelvin 1 Kelvin that is if you see will be 20.7 kilo that is my heat supply. Now since system is giving out heat here in this case, so I will put a negative sign here. 
this is the delta u for 1 gram of carbon because in the experiment we took 1 gram of carbon but the question says we have to find the energy change for this reaction so this reaction is c plus o2 is equal to co so here is it 1 gram no it is 1 mole 1 mole of carbon so 1 mole of carbon is how much 12 gram right so you want to find delta uh u for this reaction that will be for 12 gram so for 1 gram this was the value for 12 gram this into 12 will be the value so we solve it is the number 2.48 into the power 2 kilo j that is the delta u for this reaction because i'm talking about delta u for 1 mole now that is 12 gram and this experiment we did with 1 gram of graphite had we taken 12 gram of graphite that time then we did not multiply it well then i think the temperature rise would have been 12 degrees celsius but since we took only 1 gram the temperature rise was only 1 degrees celsius and we wanted to find the uh, energy change for this reaction so for this reaction if you see there is one mole of carbon involved that is 12 gram of carbon involved since there are 12 gram of carbon involved we have to multiply the whole thing by 12 because this heat capacity heat everything is all extensive property it depends on the mass of the system quantity of the system thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again